Hello, I'm at the Stodoa Club with Jason from Bullet for My Valentine. Uh, and I'm really pleased to meet you. And how are you? Likewise, I'm really good. Yeah, really happy with the tour at the moment. You know, we're selling out shows and delighted to be in Warsaw today. So you're, as you said, currently on the European tour. And uh, how do you feel after those three first shows? It was yeah, like Germany. Was, yeah, great. Yeah, I France. Mean, yeah. We, you know, we've we've not done a, a, a proper tour for maybe a couple of years because of obvious reasons, yeah. COVID and all the rest of it. We did a a run in the summer last year of festivals, but it's just amazing to be touring in Europe again. And we absolutely love Europe, you know, and different country every day. Yeah. It's, it's great. So uh, having a show like yours is, it looks like a pretty good workout. <laughs> so yeah, yeah the, <laughs> the question is, where do you find the energy, the power to, to do it like every day? It's just, uh, we're on tour and that's the whole purpose you know and we get super focused and i mean when i play i put every fiber of my being into that show and there's not much left after <laughs> yeah and um, i've heard uh, in an interview from uh, last summer uh, that uh, matt said that the choice of your uh, latest album to be self-titled was like a beginning of a new phase of uh, bullet for my valentine and uh, well, the album is out since like last year, for, for around a year, yeah. yeah, yeah. So for around a year now. And uh, how do you feel about the new phase now? What has changed? I think um, when we were writing it, COVID happened, and we had time to really f focus on what we love, what our favorite styles were, you know, and mm -hmm. everything just came together. And in a in a weird way, COVID kind of helped because it made us uh, go inside and really see, you know, see what we really want mm -hmm. from the music. And I think that's why it's like a bit of a reset because it's a proper band album, um, especially for me and Jamie, because we've been in the band for six years now. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, just felt really right and really happy with it. Do you think the pandemic was in some way inspiring? Yeah, it was definitely. So because have, there was no deadline to get mm -hmm. it done so we had more time to think about it mm -hmm. and yeah and uh, speaking of the new album and the whole new phase of bullet from a valentine um with your latest record you not only made make your music a bit heavier but you also redesigned your your logo um, every like visual concept changed a little bit and i know you you've been working with fiona garden yeah yeah and uh, what led to that change and why do you think it was so important to do so i think the band's been going for 18 years mm -hmm. at that point and sometimes you have to look at yourself and freshen it up and reflect the new sound through the logo the look everything you know and it, it just felt right to look at everything and go hey look let's just redesign it and challenge ourselves not get too comfortable you know and i think it's easy to get too comfortable when the band's been going for such a long time and how was it to work with fiona she's a really talented art she's, director yeah she was a, a really good breath of fresh air you know and just did things in different ways like it was great doing photo shoots because they were really short <laughs> <laughs> and not like four hours of the same photo and so it was good really good in that respect yeah and um, as i mentioned before your music has gotten a bit heavier in that in that album and i've been actually listening to that album on repeat for a couple of days now oh. and, and i really love the sound it's it's amazing Great, thank you. so i really love like rainbow veins and uh, yeah, no more yeah. no more trees to cry and uh, i was wondering what are your uh, personal favorite tracks on that album and why so um, well, for me, um, I'm also a fan of Rainbow Veins. Mm -hmm. Knives I really like. Um, Thousand Cuts is one of my favourites because it's really fast and I'm the drummer. So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I love all of them, really. They've all got their own identity. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we could, we'd love to play the whole album live. Yeah. But it's really difficult to put a live set together mm -hmm. because of so many albums and yeah, yeah, keeping fans happy and oh why don't you play that song oh well we want to play a new song it's like yeah I but i think this. the new album is amazing so they are going to be happy for sure yeah hopefully yeah <laughs> so uh, my other question is a bit different um if you had to choose one moment what would be the proudest moment of 
you know, being in Bullet for My Valentine f of your career, maybe? Oh, wow. Um, I was very proud when I finished recording drums for the new album because I put a lot of work into getting ready for it. Um, so that was a, a big album. And, and it, I felt like I was, it was my true identity coming out on the album. Mm -hmm. so that was that was a proud moment i'd say oh, there's there's amazing. lots though there's lots yeah and um i've actually seen bullet for my valentine like three or four times on previous tours so i know it's going to be epic but mm -hmm. for a newcomer um what would you say what can we expect from from the from the new show from the tonight show well you can expect a lot of different emotions because the band's sound spans seven eight albums um and each album has a different feeling to it mm -hmm. so that the live show has a lot of depth a lot of energy different emotions a lot of variety so yeah but there's energy throughout high energy and do you have any message for the polish fans just thank you so much for supporting us you know and without you guys this tour wouldn't be possible and our fans are so lovely they span a wide variety of ages and we just thank them from the bottom of our hearts. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, so thank you. Thank you. It was, it was amazing to, to talk to you. I hope you have a good experience here in Warsaw. And uh, did you have any time like to sightsee? I did. I went for a really long walk today, this morning, and, and it was really cold, but I, I like getting out and feeling the vibe of the city. Oh, That's good. And, and you need it. to try some Polish food and drinks. Oh yeah. yeah, I've had the best food in Poland. That was amazing. Do you so, like pierogi? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll eat anything. <laughs> no, perfect. Thank you. And, Thank uh, you. I will see you. I'll be in the front row tonight. <laughs> I'll see you there. I'll look out Thank for you. Thank you. Thank you.